want to die. Yes, hi y'all. Straight to the point. Psycho sickler, psycho mother. Today, I had uh, a nice uh, neighbor's daughter come over. She always comes over and play with the kids. So the kids decided they want to go play at her house. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll meet y'all there. Not. I didn't want to go, but you know, my heart, like, <sighs> let my kids go out. You know, weird things go through my mind. You don't want to know. Don't stick to Lifetime and make you a paranoid person. So, I'm standing outside go out to call the sack and watch them ride to the neighbor's house. So I call her mom. Well, I text her and I'm like, hey, they're on their way, you know, to your house and stuff to play. Just let me know, you know, when it's time for the girl to go to bedtime, whatever. She was like, oh, that's cool, you know, and stuff, but I'm not home. I'll be there such and such time. I'm like, I never threw on my wig and my clothes so quick. Like, I'm walking in the neighborhood like a mad black woman, like... <laughs> the mom is a cool person like we cool and stuff but I'm like no adults in the house and there's other teenagers in the house so let me go be that adult because I don't know people like that not yet you know I'm adjusting to a new location and stuff like that I'm not used to people knocking on my door when I was young if I played outside it'd be with my siblings and stuff but I know times are changing I homeschool the kids anyway so I don't know if they went forward or backwards with me this year. We'll see. But <laughs> anyways, you know, so it's that time to see kids and play with kids. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just, I'm walking down, you know, and stuff. And I stayed there. I, I wasn't in that way. I stayed in the backyard, you know, wait, waiting and stuff. And, and that's what I usually do. Uh, the things that I sometimes do too, like when they went to school, I would sit there in the parking lot 8 to 3, sleeping in my car. If I'm hungry, I'm going to go during lunchtime while they're at lunch and buy my food. Hey, baby, how you doing? While I'm buying my food, every student know me, every staff knew me. At first, they thought I was suspicious because I was in the parking lot every day. Even though my house was 10 minutes away and my grandmother's was 2 minutes away, I don't trust people like that. News be terrifying people. I'm like, shh in my car so <laughs> if my kids had a sleepover to go to well we're from the islands we don't know what that is but you know I did. it was her first invite at a sleepover um party and stuff so she went you know how because i went i slept over i made myself help helpful i helped the parent with the spa and all that jazz and i'm happy and blessed that she understood because <laughs> i surely did sleep over that would have been the only way you would have had my kid when i was little my parents had a rule hey i'll do anything here you can have any party here at the house bring whoever you want as long as i know where my child is yeah so there's a lot of things that I really don't understand. That, you know, I'm thankful to God and no one can protect my kids like I can. And you know, they are an inheritance from the Lord. Like the Bible says, but you know, sometimes watching TLC and, and Lifetime, ooh, that thing can get you twitching. <laughs> well, when I'm walking in the supermarket, and I'm walking with my kids. I'm like, blue shirt, jeans, yellow shirt. Looking at what everyone wear. Everyone's a suspect to me. That's just bad. My husband thinks I have a problem. Another thing. I put my daughter in dance. This is the first time that we doing this dance ballet jazz. You know, seeing it through whatever. And now she has this huge recital thing going on. So I'm like, okay. You know, I'm happy. We're excited and stuff. So without asking how the costume look or whatever, I go ahead and I just pay for it. So my daughter, this week, walks in with this outfit. What is this? What are those? Like, you gotta be kidding me. All of this. My husband and I will be meshing, meshing this up. We're gonna sew all this up. What they do this at? Like, what is this? I am not raising. Y'all gotta be kidding me. My child is hanging 
all all of this. Like, nah, boo. When my daughter walked in with that outfit, I was like, help me, please. Please, but I'm coming. Help me, please. What? I am not raising a little hoochie mom. Like, what? No, for real. Somebody gonna tell me. My child is busting out the seams in this. Like, everything was busting out. And you think I'm put my child on the stage with this? One parent told me, oh, that's a typical dance outfit. I guess she's not going to be doing dance. Am I too overbearing or too much? Like, just let me know. You know, even though if I am, well, I am not going to have no little pedophile. Look at what, what is, I can't, I don't even know how to think. We had to pry the thing off of her. And, and then you're going to get a size too small for my child. She did. Like I said, this world is crazy. I don't trust anyone. You know, sometimes I probably do go overboard. <laughs> Pray for me. You know, I think that's one thing I need to constantly remind myself that these children are a blessing or a gift from the Lord. And I need to just return because fear is not of God. And, that, you know, that's an enemy playing with me like I, ooh. Oh, let me. If you enjoyed these story times, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and give a thumbs up on this channel. And don't forget that notification button. I don't know where it is or even how to do it. But notifications, yes. Yeah. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.